Good morning and welcome to today's devotion for Sunday, December 1st, 2019. And today we're going to step out of Ezekiel for a moment and we're going to jump to the New Testament, to the book of John. So we're going to be reading out of the book of John, chapter 10, verses 14 through 18. That's John 10, 14 through 18. And here we're going to be reading an account spoken by Jesus himself. And it starts in verse 14 saying, I am the good shepherd, and know my sheep, and have known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold, and one shepherd. Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my Father. As we have read through Ezekiel this week, the idea of the shepherd has been a theme, and the concept of the people being the flock of the shepherds. Israel had had several bad shepherds, and the people had strayed from God. Multiple prophets had preached messages of repentance, but the people had ignored them all. The people were sadly going to be judged and judged harshly. God also made many promises to the people of Israel. One of them was the promise that his chosen people would be scattered, but he promised that he would regather them. This happened when the people returned to their land after after the captivity. It also occurred when the Jews from all the world were gathered back again and the nation of Israel was reborn in our own times. God keeps his promises. Israel was promised a good shepherd by God through the prophet Ezekiel. In Ezekiel 34:23 it says, "And I will set up one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them." Even my servant David, he shall feed them, and he shall be their shepherd. Not only was this a promise to Israel, but a foretelling of our own shepherd from the lineage of David. That, of course, is the Lord Jesus Christ. In his role of shepherd, he made the ultimate sacrifice by dying in our place. Our shepherd did not stay dead, however, but returned to life therefore giving us new life as well. New life, that is, to those who believe. Do you? And our final thought is, Jesus gave himself to save you. If he has saved you, have you given your life to him? Remember, Jesus is God and is part of the Trinity of God and refers to God the Father as his father, and Jesus being his only begotten son. And Jesus laid down his life as an atonement and a sacrifice for all the sins that we've all committed in our lives. And if we accept his sacrifice on the cross, if we accept that Christ died for you and for me and for all mankind, and we accept that and believe it in our hearts to be true, and acknowledge and receive it and accept it into our lives, we will be saved and will spend all of eternity in heaven. But there are those that unfortunately will reject him, that will not accept that sacrifice. And the sad thing is that they will also live for eternity, but they will not be living in heaven. And they will be living in hell, which is a real place that is set aside for people who reject the Lord Jesus. So use Jesus as your personal shepherd. Be a sheep in his fold. Allow him to be your chief shepherd, and he will watch over you and take care of you all of your days. I thank you so much for joining me this morning. I pray that this devotion has been a blessing, and I pray that you can take this message into your day with you today, share it with others, and let it rule your life. I thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.